This was something that I've had some requests on, so I wanted to get that out there. It's the Star Citizen Steam Controller profile. I made this guide reference sheet, you know, and folks have ex expressed an interest in that, so I wanted to share that as a template. Now, well, it looks kind of weird with the controller. I'm using the Steam Controller to navigate the desktop. So I created this in Affinity Photo, and I will share the Affinity Photo, I think it's AF file format, and a Photoshop format. And I'm only saying that because I'm not entirely clear if you open this up in Photoshop, like if the layer effects will be preserved. I mean, this is a pretty robust program that's very similar to Photoshop, but they handle effects a little differently. So we'll see. Just if you didn't want that drop shadow. So anywho, I kept, uh, I tried to keep it as organized as I could. Yeah, right trigger description, bumper. I tried to mirror how it is in the Steam configuration. And I just kept it as a basic Sego. Fine, I think that's how you say it, Sego. If you're not using it for a for an incredibly complicated profile, you might want to up that font size some. But I wanted to keep it all in here as it is, just so you can see the way, you know, the formatting as I created it. I had to make the font maybe a little smaller than I would want because I had so much information to try to get on here. And just like the formatting of how I'm adding the modifiers, you know, trying to get everything in there like with action layer modifiers and mode shifts and whatnot. These were just because for this particular profile, I had some like, for this, like for this profile, touching inside the circle would convert the whole pad into a mouse. This complete outer ring was, is the uh, right analog stick. So I just wanted to try to create like a visual reference and then the same, like, yeah, when you go outside of that, that's where you're gonna sprint. And then these are just to, you know, split up the information a little bit better. So I will, well, I won't, will, I have, put these up on Dropbox. And then with that, as long as I'm sharing this, I figured also, you know, often I would type things out, seem like they would fit in that box, save them, come back, and then something would be cut off. And that maybe isn't something that affects a lot of people, it's just those of us who are typing, trying to fit in as much as we can, because the profiles are pretty complicated. But I ended up, you know, going into one of those profiles where it cut off my text, copying that, pasting it, and then getting the word count, the character count, and it seemed to be 265. So I use this, and then I use this add-on to Google Docs, better word count. So I open the sidebar. And then this is telling me, okay, I have 257. Blah, 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 blah. Just, it gives you a nice guide for when you're typing up the descriptions. But I'll have a link to that and a link to this channel, to the uh, configuration guide template. I mean, I don't know if people want to try to make that a standard going forward for putting profiles on Nexus Mod. I mean, I, I don't care. Do what you want to do. But I've had some requests, so there it is if you want it. And even if you don't want to use that as a template guide, I also had someone just, just wanting that, uh, the Steam Controller illustration. Which I think was kind of something that I modified from some of the official documentation. I can't remember exactly where I got that from. I don't think that was one that I completely redrew on my own. So yeah, I'm not really claiming full credit for that. So if you like it, go ahead and take it, do whatever the hell you want with it. I just kind of tweaked around the levels and the coloring to get it to fit in here. All right, I think that's 
pretty much it. I just wanted to get that out there because people had been asking about it. So, all right. That's all I got. I will see you around.